Okay, so what we're going to show you how to do first is remove the seat and the side covers. This is on a steel frame bike. This particular bike is a Kingpin, 2008 Kingpin. But they're basically all the same. Hammer, jackpot, they're all the same. Uh, first thing you got to do is pop your side cover off. Now all you got to do on that is just kind of pull it. And it's got a couple pins, just kind of pull it straight off and it'll pop off. You have these pins here and those pins go in these rubber grommets. So that's all you have to do there. Pull that off. Now, to get your seat off, I'll show you with a flashlight. Up in here is an Allen head bolt. It takes a six millimeter Allen socket to get that out. There's one on the other side. So all you gotta do is just unbolt that. You pull that little bolt out. You go around and you do basically the exact same thing on the other side. Now this bike has a solo seat. Some of them that have a passenger seat, like a jackpot, may have a bolt in the back, back behind, on the, on the passenger seat would be like right here. You'd have a bolt back here that you'd have to undo as well. But on the solo seats, this is all you have to do. So you do the same thing here. Just pop that side cover off. Now you want to be careful on this bolt because your battery terminal is right here, your positive battery terminal. So you want to be careful you don't bang into that. Take that bolt out and that's all there is to it. You just kind of lift the seat up and it comes right off. Nothing to it. There's your bracket that holds the bolts. Okay, when it's on there, and there's your, where your bolts go. It's a little easier to see now. But that's all there is to removing the seat. Okay, so now that you have the seat removed, you want to do the bolts for the gas tank. So you have one bolt here in the back, and you have two up in the front. So this one takes an 8 millimeter socket. It'll come right out. Pretty long bolt. Okay, so that bolt comes out. So now the back of the gas tank is actually loose, okay? So the next thing you want to do is go up in the front, and on these bikes they have this plastic rubber cover right here. That just presses on. You just pull it off, just like that. Pull that thing off. There's one on each side, so what you're doing is you're getting to this bolt that holds the gas tank. So take that bolt out. Now, some of these, they have a grommet here, this rubber piece. Sometimes that falls out, so if it falls out, it's okay. You can just put it back in later. No big deal. So I'll just go over here and I'll pull this one off. So now the gas tank is basically loose. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to raise it up and sometimes this is where you need a helper. You can get a block of wood or something and put it under here. But you want to raise it up and you need to disconnect the fuel lines. So the way you disconnect the fuel line is pull your cheese wedge off on this side and it just pulls out, just pops right off, it has those clips, you just pop it right off. Now in behind here, it's kind of hard to see. But in behind here, this is your fuel line. This is your main fuel line. If you look at it, and it, like I say, it's probably hard to see with this buried in here, but there's two clips on this, and they're green. What you have to do is you have to squeeze those clips together. Once you squeeze those together, you'll kind of hear like a little click, and then that thing will pop right off. So there's two ways you can do it. You can try to do it with your fingers. Sometimes you, you can get in there and do it. You can do it with a screwdriver and kind of push each one down. I have a set of pliers like this that we use. Makes it a little bit easier because we do so many of them. But I'll try to get the flashlight if I can to help 
show some light. But what you're going to do is you just want to squeeze those two together, just a little bit, not hard. You hear that little click? And you just pull it right off. It comes right off. Now watch, because gas is going to drip out of there. You don't want to do this on a hot motor, because if you have that gas dripping, you know, you don't want to start a fire. But that's all there is. That pulls that right off. No gas will drip out of it. You know, you can see, you'll get a little drip right when you pull it off, but after that, it won't run. So even if you have gas in the tank, it's not going to run out. It may just drip a little bit. So the next thing you want to do is you want to try to get the tank up in the air. Okay, so you can see. Now, what I'll do is I'll get a board to put under there. If you have a helper, you just want to hold this tank up like that. Okay, and I'll try to get the flashlight and show you. But you have your wires going up under here. Okay. And right here is your connector. If you can kind of see that. Right there is your connector for your fuel pump. Okay. I'll show you once we get this off how to do this because it's too hard to see here. But what you do, there's just a little, like a little catcher on there. try to hold the flashlight but there's just a little catcher on there and you just have to lift it up once you lift that up you can pull your wire out okay so I lifted that up and now it's disconnected you can see it's disconnected there so you want to kind of feed your main hose here feed it up through because you want to be real careful you don't want to break this nipple off now this nipple under here is brass. It's not like a cross country where everybody breaks them. So you just want to kind of feed that up and at the same time pull back on the gas tank. You don't want to raise it really high because you'll hit it into the triple tree and you will dent your gas tank. So you just want to kind of pull that off. Okay. And then lift that up a little bit. Now your line's caught. Okay or our lines caught. So you have to be real careful. Like I said, you want to try to fish this out and be careful. So we get the line out. Okay. Now you also have a couple vacuum lines here. You can either disconnect them up on the gas tank or down on the side. Don't let it fall. They are these two lines right here. They're just pushed in. There's nothing, nothing fancy. You just pull them out. And they're different sizes, so you don't have to worry. If you can see, one's big, one's small. You don't have to worry about it. That's basically everything to getting the tank loose. Now you just kind of pull it off, and voila, your gas tank's off. You can see, the line just drips a little bit. You can put a rag around it, no big deal. Nothing runs out. And I'll try to show you that connector. Up here, this is the connector we were using for the fuel pump. What you have to do is when the other piece is in there, this little flap right here, you just need to lift this up like that, just lift it up, and when you lift that up, the connector will pull right out. It's just a little lock, a little catch right there. So when it's together, just lift that catch, pull it apart, and it comes right apart. That's all there is to taking the gas tank off.